Are you I'm well? feeling good. Give me your hand. I'll draw uh, some blood. Look, uh, 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 Zhao Chong, come. You try it. Disinfect it first, okay? Draw from the radio. Zuyama, you do it. I don't know if I can. Hmm, go to the nurse. Get a radial artery needle. Mm -hmm. Hello, ma'am. We're going to take a blood sample so we can analyze your blood oxygen, okay? <laughs> it's okay, Zuyama. Can you show me how to do it again? No, you know it. What's wrong? Can't find it. Raise the hand a little bit. Calm down and look carefully. You'll find it. Don't be nervous. I've got it. Go ahead. All done here, ma'am. You can rest now, okay? Good job. Thanks, Dr. Ruyang. <laughs> hey, you guys noticed it too, right? Dr. Ouyang changed. She's nicer now. Yeah, a patient said I sucked. Then she helped me out. Mm -hmm. I think this is the first time she's taught us so nicely, and her attitude is so different. I'm still adjusting to it. Why do you think she changed? What's the reason? It's the power of love. It's, it's the, the power, power of love. <laughs> Blood pressure is 131 over 84. Blood oxygen 95. Temperature 103. She's Good. much better than before. There's Tian. Take a blood test, then do a chest x-ray on her afterward. Mm. Auntie, how are you now? Your stats are pretty good. I was off yesterday. I heard you transferred over here then. Now don't you worry. You're in good hands, okay? Zhang Zhen, now that she's awake, I will go back. Grandma, I have to go, but I'll come back later. I'll see you after my shift ends, okay? Grandma, just relax. Just lie there. Don't strain yourself, okay? Your temperature's still high, but nothing has changed, which is good news. Now don't worry. I'll be right here all day and overnight tonight. If you need anything, just push that button over there. Understand? All these machines have alarms. They'll only go off if any of the stats are abnormal. Then I'll come running. I'll be here in less than a minute just to see you, okay? I'll see you later, Grandma. You're already done drawing blood? How long did you think it would take? Well, since you work so quickly, your shift should end on time tonight. Dr. Wu Yang, if you permit me, I'd like to buy you dinner. Always dinner. You're so boring. You think buying me dinner will make me forget that vitamin joke? Think again. I didn't want you to forget that. Buying you dinner is my duty as your boyfriend, and my right, of course. So now, where will we go? Dr. Shen, your English has really improved here. You should try Spanish next. It's always been good. All right, kid, stop fighting. Get back to work. You know, Shen wants to buy you dinner.
You're not kidding, right? <laughs> sure. Of course I'll go. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I have overtime, so I can't be a third wheel for tonight. Hey, come on. Do your rounds. Go on. Dr. Zen, bed one is an elderly pneumonia patient. All stats normal today, and he's stabilizing. Two is chronic renal insufficiency. We did a dialysis today, and wheezing is much better. Have to watch the electrolytes. Three is intestinal bleeding caused by liver cirrhosis. He didn't cough up blood during the day. Check the hemoglobin at five, total nine grams. Now four is severe cerebral thrombosis. The family has already signed to abandon life support. Also, bed six is quite stable now. As for bed seven, their case is a little more complex. Then there's eight, nine, and ten. All of them are stable. After the drips, they can go home. So get their release forms ready. On bed 3B, we have a 78-year-old woman. She came in with high blood pressure and diabetes, renal insufficiency, and cerebrovascular sequelae. Five years of peritoneal dialysis, bedridden long-term with malnutrition, stemming from when she was first diagnosed with kidney failure. Excuse me. Hello, sir. Can you hear me, sir? Looks like a heart attack. VF. Chung Chung, defibrillator. Yes, doctor. Three sixty. Charge. Charge. Defibrillating. Clear. Nothing. Epinephrine one milliliter. Epinephrine one milliliter. Prepare to intubate. That was close. Hey, they made it by just two and a half minutes. Good thing Dr. Chang saw him, otherwise he would be done for. What happened? What is wrong? You're just in time. His heart just stopped, and if it weren't for Dr. Chung, he'd be dead right now. How could that be? He was fine when I went out a second ago. You must be mistaken. There's no way we could be. Exactly. There are machines here. They all have alarms. <sighs> Excuse me, ma'am. While he's still recovering here, you must keep a close eye on him. You can't just leave him like that, okay? Yes, I understand. Hey, good job. It's not hard to like you, you know? You're the best ER doctor I've ever seen. You're too kind. What's going on? Well, this guy was praising me. Have you saved people like that before? Yeah, I have. Those situations must be included in textbooks. That was nothing. We do that here all the time. Cheng Jin here is really good, almost the best. He has fast reflexes, sharp eyes and ears, too. One time, we were eating dinner, and suddenly he said he was worried about a patient and went to check on him. When he walked in, the patient started coughing up blood. I thought it was really weird, too. Dr. Zeng says he has great intuition, a kind of ER doctor talent. You remind me so much of two door gods guarding a temple. What kind of compliment is that supposed to be? Hey, you and I are the door gods here. You and Ouyang are like Adam and Eve, except that Eve got kidnapped, so now it's just Adam. Will keeping your mouth shut kill you, huh? Yeah, it might. I'm Adam, too. No it's way. It's true. Way. No Go way whatsoever. Come on. I don't believe you. You can't keep saying things like that. Um, what are you doing here? I'm here to see you. Okay, mm. fine. I'm very busy today. Come back later and maybe we can talk. Xiao Chong, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Yes, I am. Now shut up. 
That was really fast. Whoa, look at that diamond. I think I've gone blind. If you don't shut up, I'll knock you out and drag you back to the office, okay? <laughs> you can't. Chang Sheng probably could. <laughs> w what are you doing? I don't like this joke anymore. Ms. Su Yimang, would you be willing to marry me? <gasps> How long have we known each other? Do you even know who I am? I do. Actually, the first time that I saw you, it was just like fate. Just like we've known each other forever. But I don't even know you at all. You're not even an acquaintance of mine, let alone someone I have any feelings for. Do you think that in this situation, it's right to propose? Please come back to reality, Jinka. But when love comes around, it cannot be stopped. It is like a whirlwind. That's just how I am. Whenever I want something, I will do anything in my power to get it. If you don't think that I'm good enough for you, I promise, you will see it. You will have no regrets. You're not in love with me, Jinka. You love yourself. You think you can get whatever you want. Did you ever think about my feelings? If you say yes, then I will. Then there's nothing else for me to say to you. Please go away. You mean you won't even think about it? There's a good chance that you won't ever meet someone as good as me in your life. Good. that that's classic show yi ma it's not i'm going to go talk to her <laughs> what's wrong <laughs> it's nothing ma'am liar you know you're bad at lying. Just watching the door, Chung Jun. Oh, really now? Tired of being the doctor, Wang Bo? <laughs> hey, shut up. I was just thinking that the door is like the boundary between our world and theirs. You guys can cross it as you please, but I can't. I'm chief resident. I can't leave. I have responsibilities here, unlike the others. Oh, that's really deep, huh? It seems like you're in a philosophical mood today, aren't you, Wang Bo? <sighs> I'm just venting, that's all. Are you free? Let's go out and get some air. Looks like you're ready for war. Let's go. I'll help you plan it. Meng Meng, what are you going to do about that guy? We don't even know each other. I can't do anything about him. You can still get to know each other, Meng Meng. I think you'd make a good match after all. I don't. You suck. <laughs> Zhao Zhong, you tell Me? her. Me? I think that guy Jin Ke is a pain in the butt. He's not a pain in the butt. What he did is called passion. Listen, Monk, someone who's the exact opposite of you is perfect. It's even complimentary. You're being way too hard on him. You're too rational, and you're being too logical. I mean, don't you know? Love is the spice of life. Love and passion, too. E enough. Listen, passion and possession are very different things. Jin Ke just wants to possess her, not love her. And what's wrong with that, huh? Nothing's wrong. If someone wants to possess you, that means he's deeply in love with you, doesn't it? Hey, Xiao Chen, hmm? I think you should take some time and work on your English vocabulary. Go on. Go on and eat a dictionary. Yeah, do that. You're awful. I'd marry him. If someone like him wanted to marry me, I'd say yes. Without a question. You said that about Dr. Ouyang and Dr. Shen before. Don't add me to your roaster, God. Look at you. You're always brokenhearted. <laughs> oh! If you like her, you have to tell her. Don't keep it inside. After a while, you'll feel like a scorned woman. Then you'll be like me, alone forever. Got that? You have to learn from my mistake. Just go for it. Oh, sure I will. Weren't you just too nice and scared Ouyang off in the end? So I'll <laughs> do the opposite and I'll be cool about it. So I don't end up like you. Wait a second. Zhu Yimang and Ouyang are not the same. She's just Zhu Yimang. Even if she's like Ouyang, she's still not Ouyang. Besides, she's still a young girl, and she wants romance. You're not like Dr. Ouyang. You're a fresh college graduate like Xiao Chong and myself. Don't tell me you've never dreamt of Prince Charming before. And don't tell me you don't want to experience a romantic and passionate relationship. Just remember, there's still time to change. Time to adjust, but not much. Take a chance and strike the iron while it's hot. Seriously? Flowers and presents? I can't do that. <laughs> Even if you could, it's too late. 
He's gone too far. Just tell her straight up. Hey, you just walk up to her, look her in the eye, and say, I like you. Be my girlfriend. You just tell him, yes, we'll try it for now. If it doesn't work, then break up. It won't hurt to try. You have a point, but what if she says no? Then just use your special skill, your shamelessness. Just keep going for her. Until she agrees, of course. She'll say no, but only at first. What makes you think that I'll take your advice on this? I'm just looking out for you. It's such a good opportunity after all. So what are you waiting for? Just look at me. Every guy I've ever liked rejected me. If I had your luck in love, I can't go on. My heart can't take it. Dr. Shen and Dr. Ouyang are together. Dr. Shen and Dr. Ouyang are together. Chang Shang and Rong Rong are together. Chang Shang and Rong Rong are together. And you have Jin Ka. And you have Jin Ka. I really wonder when I'll meet my true love here. Don't you have Dr. Chung and Dr. Wang? Yeah, you're right. You've got lots of chances, so stop worrying about me. You're right. It'd be cool. You think so, right? It's super cool. <laughs> hey. Zoe Yimang is still my intern. Isn't it weird? It feels wrong. Neither of you are married, so I don't see a problem with that. Tomorrow, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, you do that. If I scare her away when I do, I'll just jump off the roof. Okay, I'll bring you a wreath. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I want to know what being in love feels like. Xiao Chong, hmm? buy me some flowers too, please. Sure. Dead ones. You're mean! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Zhou Yimang, you're really not interested in Jin Ka. For the last time, I'm not. Oh, I, I really think that Ow, Ai Xiao Chen is better for him. Yeah, you're right. Xiao Chen, how about this? I'll give you all the stuff that Jin Ka gave me for presents earlier. You meet up with him, have dinner, and get to know him. You're mean too. Don't you want a boyfriend? Hmm? I want a boyfriend, but I don't want your rejects. Let go. <laughs> Let go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <Ow>. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Dr. Wong. Hey. Grandma, I'm back now, all right? Chung Jun, the x-ray is ready for you. No decline here. Temperature hmm. is 38.2. Hmm. Looks like it didn't shift after all. It was probably just a normal lung infection. Grandma, the x-ray's done. You're fine. Just inflammation from lying down too long. You're all good. Chung Jun, can you consider maybe removing the tube for now? It's not good to keep them in. Once we take the tube out, you can go to a normal room. Hey, Miss Lin, there you are. Good timing. We were just talking about removing her breathing tube. Oh, you want to remove it already? Grandma, you're in good shape. Stronger than most men, you know. Oh, Yang, do you think it's wise to remove her tube? Her temperature's down. The infection's controlled. Cheng Jun. Let me do it for you. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Cheng, we're going to pull your breathing tube out. Just relax. And once we remove it, I know you'll feel much better. Now, there might be a bit of blood, but don't be scared. If it hurts at all, just grab onto my arm at any time, all right? Okay, we're all done here. <sighs> Mrs. Cheng, you can't drink water just yet. 
So I'll just moisten your lips for now, all right? Chang Jun. Grandma. Mrs. Chang, don't try to talk yet. You'll strain yourself, okay? Chang Jun. Take me home. I want to go home. You want to go home already, Mrs. Chang? We'd like to observe you for at least another day. I want to go home. It's more comfortable. What do you think? Can she go home? Well, if she's stable, then it shouldn't be a problem. Nurse Lin? Yes, home would be better for your grandmother. She'll heal much faster there. If I have time, I'll stop by. They're so nice to me, Nurse Lin. It's just that some people can't tell the truth here. Did you see that? Do they know each other? I don't think so. I feel like they've known each other for a while. They seem fairly close. Mm. I get that too. But I just don't want to think about this now. Don't you think she's kinder to you? Isn't she kind to everyone? She's a nurse after all. I guess. It's just that the way she looks at you sometimes reminds me of a mother and son. Miss Lin has no husband and no kids, so when she sees a talented young man like me, it's normal for her to see me like a son. Huh. Tell me, when did you get so cocky? How <laughs> about I let Miss Lin know what her godson's really like? No, no, don't do that. I'm under enough pressure from my grandmother already. <laughs> I'm all done. Goodbye. Goodbye. Dr. Chung. Hey. You've been up all night. Aren't you going home yet? I was looking for you. Tell me, do you know about cars? Uh, a little. If you got time, I want you to come with me for a bit. To do what? Buy a car. You're buying a car? Then I really have got to help you out, of course. All right. Uh, wait at the door. I'm going to get changed, okay? Okay. Great. <laughs> Zoe so, Yiman. What is it, Dr. Wang? Uh, do your rounds with me. Okay. Hi, Dr. Chung. Hey. Aren't you going home yet, Chung Jun? Yeah, I am. Go, shameless. Do it. No way. <laughs> what did he just tell you, Dr. Wang? To be shameless. Uh, huh? uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, come on. You know, your social status isn't that high. But still, you know, you deserve respect, right? Combined with your income and other aspects, I think these ones would suit you best. But still, my vote is this one. It's a new A3 hatchback coupe. It's young and energetic and reasonably priced. Hmm. Hey, hmm? what is with a stethoscope? Well, when choosing a car, you've got to listen to the engine very well. I'm gonna wrap a cloth oh. around it and listen to the different parts of the engine so I can be sure that there are no abnormal sounds. Like rattling, or clanking, or rumbling, or weird noises in the air valves. You know it's a good engine mm. if it makes a nice humming sound and nothing else, got it? Then put a piece of cloth in the muffler. And if the sound of the engine deepens and then the engine shuts down after a few seconds, then that means it's a good car. But if it doesn't, it only means that there's a leak somewhere. That's great, you know a lot. Looks like you've done your research, kid. <sighs> Ever since I bought that crappy car, I've been fixing it and wanting a much better car. And accidentally, I became an expert. You know, you should apply those smarts at work. You have a lot of potential and I'm serious. Hey, this is nice. Okay, I'll take it. So are you glad you brought me with you? Hmm, I am. This car is exactly like Ouyang's. That's how you choose a car, are you serious? That's enough out of you. Let's get going, okay? Go ask them if they have it in stock. If they do, and it's just like you said it would be earlier. We'll just take it and go, right? Sounds good. All right, let's go over there. All right. Here. 
Careful. <laughs> Easy. I've got Easy. you, Grandma. We're home now. We're home. Come on. Don't rush now. All right now. Just watch your step. Here we go. Hold my hand, Grandma. Hmm. <laughs> home smells so much better. At the hospital, it smells like disinfectant everywhere. It's good to have you back. Do you know what I found out? Chang Jun bought a car just for this. It's about time. You should have a car, my dear, mm. so you can go anywhere you want. Right. After work, I'll come straight home every day. And on holidays, I'll take you out to do something. We can go wherever we want. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten so tired of lying in bed, I hate it. But you still have to. You're not better just yet. Mm. Mm. He's right. Hang in there. Then, when you're ready, we'll go get a checkup. If you're okay, we'll do something. Anywhere you want. I'll take you to the moon if you want me to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll stay in bed then. I'll get better soon. I'll get better. Exactly. I'll get better. <laughs> That's right. We hope you get well soon. <sighs> I'm gonna go to the office. You keep an eye on things. You're finally going to do it? Mm -hmm. Understood. I'm here for you, man. Zoyuman, come to the office with me. Okay. Zoyuman, first let me apologize. I am really stubborn and sensitive. Sometimes I want to say something, but I can't, and then eventually I get moody. During the time you've been here as an intern, I've put you through a lot of trouble. Don't take it too hard. You've done very well until now. Dr. Wong? Dr. Wong? What are you trying to tell me? Why am I starting to feel nervous about this? Does this mean that you don't want me as your intern? No one said that. No. Of course I want you. I'll say it then. Since the day we first met, I've been in love with you. I'm a very practical person, see, because I have a specialized profession. It's hard to communicate. I keep to myself more often than not. You and I, we don't have this problem, right? So two doctors together is perfect. What do you think? I know I'm not good at this, saying romantic, sappy stuff that girls like you are so fond of, but I have to say it because, well, I just... I can't hold back anymore. Go out with me. Dr. Wong, please stand up first. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, thank you. Anyone call me? No, sir. Hey, what's wrong? Uh, nothing. My stomach's acting up, that's all. Do you need me to help no, you? No, I'm fine. Please, I'm fine. I'll just take something. Don't mind me. Are you sure? Yes, yes. Are you all right? Don't Did ask, you say yes? Talk later. Get me some water, please. Huh? Sure. Hey, tell me what happened to you. You okay? Uh, nothing. I got need. You got need? Who need you then? So you Wait, what'd you do to her, huh? 
Hey, what do you mean, what did I do to her? I'm the victim here, okay? I did exactly as you said. The rose is down on one knee, the whole nine yards. And then what? I thought she was agreeing when she came forward, so then, then I hugged her. No way! Why Bo proposed as well? Be quiet, Xiao Chan. So soon after Jin Ka, Dr. Wang did it as well? I don't know where all this luck comes from. Hey, when he hugged you, what did you do? I hit him with my knee. What? I can't believe you did that to him. What's wrong with you, huh? Just what were you thinking? Hey! I got scared. I wasn't thinking at all. I don't know why my knee jerked like that. <laughs> you hugged her. She Are you done you, yet? You're, you got need. <laughs> That's what you get, man. Weren't the flowers enough? Hey, you've been single for almost forever. So what's with the rush, man? I wasn't rushing her. I just... I just jumped to conclusions. That's all. Stop laughing. <laughs> so what now? Well, what else? Didn't you say you jump off the roof or something? Why don't you go and do it then? Shut up! <laughs> okay, okay. The truth is, I really don't know what's next, man. It looks like the two of us aren't suited for relationships. I'm telling you now, Yimeng, Dr. Wang is definitely a realist. He has no idea when it comes to romance. So for him to kneel down and offer flowers to you, he must really love you. Hey, Xiao Chan. Aren't you supposed to be helping me? Don't start rumors. I'm just analyzing the situation. <sighs> Listen closely. Let's start with Jin Ka first. Compare him with Dr. Wang. They're both good looking. One has money, the other a career. Who will you pick? They're both good matches. <sighs> Su Yi Meng, Su Yi Meng. Don't waste gifts God gave you. If I were you, I'd choose both. Hmm. Of course, with society, polygamy isn't allowed, but you can still choose from them. What if he had Dr. Wang's talent. And then, he had Jin Ka's money, right? You know, that is ideal. A good mix of both. Xiao Chan, stop dreaming. Please be serious. What should I do when I see him? Mm. <sighs> I don't know what to do about it. Apologize. What else can you do? Why should I? When she's the one who hurt me, remember? Well, well why'd you have to hug her? Okay, I'll apologize. Then what? Well, how should I know? I really don't have this kind of experience. If you don't stop laughing, you will hurt yourself. Okay, I'll stop, I'll stop. Seriously, though, the situation is... It's pretty tough. How about... You go up to the roof and jump off. Sure. <laughs> oh. oh. Chug Jun. Yeah? Oh, Grandpa, good timing. It's ready. Go eat. And the mantu will be done soon. Both you and Grandma can eat this, all right? You're not eating? I'll just eat at work. Looks like it's gonna rain. I have to leave early. There might be traffic and it can't be late. Understand? Uh-huh. Grandma, sorry, did I wake you? Just letting you know, there's food, congee and man too. I'm going to work now. Please remember to take your meds, all right? Chen Chen, mm. when is your father coming back? Oh, pretty soon, I think. Maybe six months. Hey, <sighs> don't move. Just stay in bed. Relax. <sighs> Another six months, huh? Yeah. When I have a chance, I'll give him a call. Don't keep thinking about it. Also, the weather's not good today, okay? You see, it's kind of muggy, so let's not go out. Call if you need me, all right? I almost forgot. Sometime today, a community worker will come by to give you your drip, all right? There's no place like home. Isn't that true? <laughs> <laughs> you gone. Go on to work right. now. Ah. Uh, huh? Say hi to Miss Lin, if you see her. Sure. Oh, yeah. You used to know her, right? Were you workmates? I know her. I have for a long time. 
Well, if you knew her, then then why didn't you say so beforehand? When it's time for me to tell you, I will tell you everything. Really, will you? Mm, get to work now. <laughs> all right. I'll be home later, all right? Oh, and drive carefully. Yes, please. I will. Don't worry. Yo, are you here to greet me today? Do you really need to ask? I'm just waiting for Ouyang. Oh. You bought a new car? Yeah. My grandma just had to go home. I have to tend to her every day, so I had to get a car. Oh, all right. You know, it's the exact car Ouyang has. Huh? Well, I knew nothing about that, because Xiao Chang chose this car. Ah. Ah! <sighs> <sighs> Oh, why? Who's cursing me? It's someone missing you. One miss, two curse, three cold. So who's missing me, huh? So, about yesterday I was... Dr. Wong, the patient from bed three is leaving today. Miss Lin needs you now. Ah, uh, I'll go now. I'll be right back. <clears throat> oh, also Dr. Wong, and the patient on number six needs a review today. There are three patients who need x-rays, and the test reports you needed are all ready. <laughs> What's with that? Have you gone crazy? You don't know? Something huge happened yesterday. Really big! So what happened? Come huh? here. Uh-huh. <laughs> no! Oh, no way! <laughs> What status? There is no status. Didn't I tell you to apologize? I wanted to, but just look at her. She's acting so normal, almost like nothing happened. Do you think apologizing to her is still okay? Well, if she's acting normal, isn't that a good thing? Well, I guess. But I feel like I'm being ignored now, and I feel a sense of grief in my heart. What's this? You some kind of poet now? Come on, we'll be late for the meeting. <laughs> <sighs> for today's meeting, we're going to talk about the interns. The three of you have been here for quite a while now. And according to regulations, you can choose to stay here if you wish, or transfer to another department that you like. I'd like to hear what you think, okay? Yes, Xiao Chao. Uh Director, I haven't decided if I want to transfer out or not. Can I have some more time? Zhu Yimou. She hasn't I want... decided yet either. Zhao so Chong, you? I'm staying. Nobody else wants me, and I've learned to like it here. Thanks, Director. Okay. We'll keep Zhao so Chong here. <laughs> Zhu Yimou and Zhao so Chan, think about it carefully. Tell your seniors once you've made a decision. And there's one more thing. Three weeks from now, is our institute's anniversary. Each department has to prepare a show. Let's put you youngsters to good use, okay? Come up with an innovative show. Make a contribution to our department, all right? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it for today's meeting. Now get to work. Bye, Bye, Bye Director. Bye, Director. Xiao Chan, come with me. Xiao Chan, what are you doing? I want ophthalmology. Ophthalmology? Is ophthalmology important or love? You haven't even decided what to do about Dr. Wang and you're just leaving? What a shame. Make up your mind. Don't rush into it. Also, you're not going to be stuck here forever. That's enough. Dr. Wang's here. What's going on here? Nothing, Dr. Wang. Come to the classroom with me. We have some things to discuss.
时间，只剩一点，我还会为爱勇敢一点，再爱一点，再爱一点，紧紧拥抱这个世界。如果心跳可以听见，就能听懂我爱的宣言，请让我陪在你的身边。发现爱没有白天黑夜，我相信真爱会永远是心跳，是直觉。爱的信念不会熄灭，勇往直前，不顾一切。如果时间只剩一点，我还会为爱勇敢一点，再爱一天，再爱一遍，紧紧拥抱这个世界。如果心跳。可以听见，就能听懂我爱的宣言，请让我陪在你的身边，在你的世界。如果时间只剩一天，我还会为爱勇敢一点，再爱一天，再爱一遍，紧紧拥抱这个世界。如果心跳可以听见，就能听懂我爱的宣言，请让我。陪在你的身边，再爱爱你的世界 ，Love forever。